Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Amanda. I'm sorry I haven't been with you for a while, but I've got a product review for you, which is well overdue. Um, so I'm going to be doing that with you today. You'll have to bear with me because some of these I've been hanging on to and hanging on to for a few, uh, well, a couple of months. So uh, I did make some notes to jog my memory. Um, so if you please, please bear with me while I look at my notes, if I do. Um, a lot of them I can remember what happened and what they were like, but um, if there's the odd one, I'll just double check. I put it there and I can see it. So I hope you're all okay. For those of you that are new here, welcome. And for those of you that are my regulars, welcome back. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like um, the video. And, ooh, sorry about that noise. That was one of the dogs coming in to say hello. That's Barney Boo. No, it's not his Toby. <laughs> He's just seen where I am. He's like um, a little lost soul who wanders about everywhere if I'm not there. So anyhow, Toby, stop it. He's scratching at a blooming rug now. Anyhow, without further ado, let's do the review. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is this Burt's Bees soap bark and chamomile. I got this in a beauty box Um Oh, a long while ago and um, I reviewed it it was oh, what, 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 and after Christmas I think well I, I used it after Christmas um, it says Burt's Bees Deep Cleansing Cream Soap Bark and Chamomile you can see that it was a 20 gram tube excuse my nails by the way I desperately need doing I need to get those done uh, I'll do those tonight. It's a deep cleansing cream, but I really I do normally like Burt's Bees, um, like lip lip um, balm things. But as soon as I put this onto my face, it started to feel warm, uh, and as I massaged it into my skin, it was getting hotter and hotter, and it became uncomfortable. So um, I took it off straight away, washed it off. Um, wiped it off with a tissue because I was sat on my bed um, wiped it off with a tissue and then um, and then washed my face and got it off oh it was awful I've put on my notes it obviously didn't agree with my skin I've never ever had that happen to me before with any product ever so I don't know what it was or if it's a, um, one of the ingredients in this I mean, I'm really, I, I'm really disappointed because I mean they are cruelty free. They don't test on animals. They use recyclable product uh, packaging, and they use natural ingredients. So I really don't know what didn't agree with my skin, but it was like it was on fire. It was really uncomfortable, um, and I mean chamomile shouldn't be a problem, but I don't know soap bark maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, so that is a definite no-no for me so that's going in the bin and then the next thing i got was to try was um avon planet spa it's um ball uh, now barley botanica with frangipane and lemongrass face mask and i put it on my hand to try it to see what it was like um, and I really didn't like the smell of it so I didn't even put it on my face so I don't know if this works or not but I just did not like the smell it says frangipani and lemongrass I don't know you see you can't really smell it in the tube but when I put it onto my hand to rub it to see what the texture was like um, no it's, I didn't like the smell and I, I, as a face mask and you leave it on for how long are you supposed to leave this one on for uh, five minutes I wouldn't have been able to stand it so off it, off it. Oof, no no <laughs> so that was another fail and then the next thing I got was um, a sharky face mask by Sense which is this one sheet mask this i got from home bargains and it's by sense s-e-n-c-e -E, sharky moisturizing and refreshing enriched with orange extract for all skin types um 
and this one you cleanse your face as normal and pat dry um put it on leave 10 to 15 minutes remove mask and discard uh, massage the remaining serum into your skin so i did all that and i waited and i waited it felt really sticky after i take the mask the mask was fine but after I'd taken the mask off, the serum that was left, well, it, the mask, first of all, felt really cold. When I put it on, it felt really, really cold. But I thought, well, that's probably what it's supposed to be like. Um, so I did the time. And then um, when I t I'm just checking my nails, it says, when I removed it, I rubbed the remaining liquid into my skin. Very sticky for ages. And after 30 minutes, I ended up wiping it off because it didn't rub in, it didn't evaporate. Um, so, mm, not brilliant. But the mask was fine. It was just the serum that was sticky what was left. The next thing that I'd got to try was the Balance Active Formula Gold Collagen Hydrogel Lip Mask. There's two in here. Um, these were from Home Bargains. These are really easy to use. My lips did feel plumper after I'd used them. There is lots of serum in the packet. Um, so after I'd removed the mask, I tipped what was left out onto my hand and mask and like patted it and patted it and patted it all around. They did feel, they felt really nice after I'd used it. Um, so I'm looking forward to using the next one because I've only used one of the two. But I, I think they were 99p for two from Home Bag and I won't swear to that. I think the Sharky mask was about 60p, something like that. Um, the Planet Spa, I'm not sure, from Avon and the Burt's Bees, as I say, it was in a box, so in a beauty box thing. So I'm not sure on that either. But I think they were 99p, something like that. Um, so I'll definitely buy those again. And then next on my list is this one. Uh, this is Puriface Marine Purifying Korean Algae Sheet Mask. Deep pore cleansing and intense hydrating. Fragrance free, free even vegan mask now my friend bought me some of these um and it says cleans pores and protects from harmful environmental impurities it's important to shield your skin from the harmful effect harmful effects i can't speak today <laughs> the harmful effects of air pollution this mask purifying ingredients help prevent free radical accumulation on the skin Additionally, the max mask material is made from an eco-friendly tensile and Korean algae blend with deep cleansing and pore protecting qualities. The serum is fragrance free to ensure compatibility with sensitive skin and with additional ingredients such as primrose, peppermint and moringa seed, the mask helps the skin remain soft and smooth. So you cleanse and dry your face, <coughs> excuse me, uh, open the package, take out the mask, put the mask around the eyes first and then the rest of the face and then relax 15 to 20 minutes and then again you pat the serum into your face. Now this mask has got like little nicks cut into it all the way around so it actually went round your face and stuck to under your jawline so that was really nice i think she bought these from amazon she bought a pack of them and she gave me half and she kept half um and they were all different ones they were all by Purifaz, but they were all different um mask like treatments what they were doing um there was cleansing there was um just a moisturizing um revitalizing and all different ones like that so but that um i've put on my note easy to put on lots of serum in it and the skin felt felt lovely and soft afterwards and the fact that it's vegan and fragrance free is even better so that was a plus as well so i'll definitely buy some more i won't buy some more i will buy some <laughs> and i'll use some more of those because they are really nice now, these products um, that I'm going to go through now, I haven't uh, made notes because these are my most... My, 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 I told you my mouth was working today. These are my most recent ones. Um, first of all, this Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care Defence Detoxifying Scalp Scrub Exfoliant for your head, basically. It says wet hair, massage a generous amount into your scalp, leave for a few minutes, rinse thoroughly with 
the defense shampoo use one to two times per week if contact with eyes blah 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 well i didn't like it this was a sample one <coughs> sorry excuse me well a small a 30 mil tube that i got in a rocker box um it smelled okay it smells it smells really clean and like minty like eucalyptus -y kind of a smell what does it say what's in it let's see um oh got drops it too just says it's a detoxifying one does it say no i can't see it says any particular fragrance or anything um and i've used i've used it three times um it's not for me i didn't like it i didn't like the feel of it when i put it on it felt really weird on my hands um and i put, rubbed it into my head and it felt really strange it smelled okay but as with the shower with the heat from the water it started to like really get clean nasal passages shall we say um which is i suppose is a good thing it made me feel a bit whew, <laughs> like whew, <laughs> hot and bothered um but yeah uh so now not for me so i thought well i'll give it the benefit of the doubt i've never used a scalp one before scalps detoxifying scalp scrub um so i tried as i say three times i used it i didn't like it each any of the times so that's not another repurchase from me that's a fail for this month and the next thing i got to show i've got to show you is this liqueur shower mousse from aldi mango and mandarin um this is a new range that they're doing. It's a shower and shave mousse. This was lovely. Really, really foamy. Really creamy. Uh, really nice smell. I used it. Oh, I loved it. It's nice. I got the other one as well. I can't remember what it's called though. It's, um, oh, I can't remember. It's in a pink tin. I think it's something like uh, pomegranate and apple or something. I can't remember. But anyway. I think these were 89p so yeah a definite fave i'll buy them again once i've used up all my other stash of stuff i shall buy them again um the next thing is these raise three um razors these are from home bargains there's four in triple bladed with a lubricating strip with aloe vera and vitamin E. Uh, pivoting head, adjust to the contours of your skin for a close shave. And there's a rubber grip on these for extra control. Because nothing works if, if you've got soap on your hands and you can't, it, you lose your grip on these. It's not good, is it? It, it says it's suitable for sensitive skin. Um, ceramic coated blades, swivel head for extra smoothness and comfort. And the lubricating strip helps the razor glide over the skin. They, they, they do work. They are really good. They're really sharp. And um, they don't leave your skin scratchy or itchy afterwards and dry. So, yeah, I will stick to those. I've used all those, so I shall stick to those. I'll put those on my list. And, excuse me, <laughs> um, the next thing is a little sample pot from Estee Lauder that I got in an Estee Lauder kit. Estee Lauder Revitalising Supreme Plus. Um, this says it's Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. Well, you're supposed to use it with your serum, which I did, after your repair serum. But this sample size to me is not big enough. You can't, you don't get any results with it really, because you, you don't get enough to use for long enough. Um, I think with skincare you need to use it for about a month really before you can see well in my opinion before you can see like a big result um and that it's just it's not a very it's only a tiny pot what does it what's the size of it let's see if i can't even read it it's so small um i think it's something like 15 grams or something uh What's that say? Oh, seven mil. So that's how small it is. It's tiny. So you don't really get enough in there 
talk um, to, to, to make any difference. It smells nice, it does smell nice, and it does feel nice, but is it for it working, I don't know, I'm not sure. So I'll reserve judgment on that one. I'm sure it'll be good because it's a still order, but you never know. And then the other sample size I got was this one, the Estee Lauder Advanced, I don't know if you can see that, Advanced Night Repair, um, Synchronised Recovery Complex 2. This comes in a little teeny weeny dropper. Oh, a little tiddy bit there, look. But it's a bubble. It's just a bubble. So it rubs in nicely. Don't smell of anything. Uh, and this is seven mil as well. So they're both really small. Uh, again, couldn't really tell a big difference with this because there's not enough in the sample to make a difference. But it gives you a taste of what it feels like on your skin, which is nice. They do feel nice on the skin. And it does, it makes your skin feel lovely. Nice and smooth. So I suppose if you've got a bigger bottle and you use it for three or four months you probably notice a big difference now the next thing is balance me vitamin c repair serum this i got in a in my rocker box this was a seven mil one uh 99.8 percent natural and it's vegan and it's made in the uk they never test on animals um and it says on the bottle or the tube uh award-winning Zingy Gel Serum reduces pigmentation and uneven skin tone while boosting hydration, elasticity and texture. Smooth serum onto cleansed face, neck and decolletage using gentle upward strokes. I did use it. I did quite like it. It did feel nice on the skin, but again, it smells lovely as well. It smells like a bit orangey, as I would expect vitamin C. Um, again, not very big tubed i don't know if this is standard size or if it's a trial um a trial uh, like a sample size i'm not sure so i would buy it because it did feel nice but i would like to see more of it first to see the results before i bought it because i'm not sure how much it is or anything like that it'd probably be a fortune but i'd want to see more results from it first so maybe two or three samples down the line you might get a better idea so that's those and then the next thing is these purex exfoliating facial wipes i get these from or i did get these from um the factory shop in a pack of three packets but i'm trying to steer away from wipes now for facial wipes um or use the ones that i get from aldi's and um, they're like a cloth more of a cloth feel and they're biodegradable um these are good the pure x ones these were three packs for a pound this is the exfoliating there's a deep cleansing and a moisturizing i think in in the in the overall pack so um yeah they did what they say they do um textured cloth gently exfoliates the skin removes dead skin cells dirt makeup and grease each wipe is specially formulated for all skin types leave skin feeling clean and refreshed which it did um take makeup off and everything so they do they do work and uh, this has got aloe vera in this one uh dermatologically tested i think you can get these from savers i think i've seen them in savers as well um for those of you that don't have a factory shop near you i think i've seen these in, in savers and they do work as i say they do take makeup off they do take eye makeup off and they take lipstick off too so they're really good and these are against animal testing as well so that's even better now on to hair. hair 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 mine is desperate for cutting i'm booked in next thursday you can see it's, it's rocker <laughs> it's got a spring on look that's how it's managing to stay up here i need to you can see how much it's and i've had it cut since i had it cut the first time into this um undercut pixie i've um and i dyed it it's grown about an inch and a half i have had it cut since but needs cutting again um i'm having to put loads of product on at the minute to keep it up there i mean it's been in all day as this product and it's it's although it's not too hot today um it will have 
worn a little bit because of just the day. The day. <laughs> just the day. So, what I normally use and what's holding this up here, and my hair is really thick and heavy, so it's good stuff, is this stuff, is, um, first of all, I do it with the VO5 Rework Texture Foam Mousse. Oh, excuse me, I've got really cups. Um, this is messy texture, lightly workable hold, and it's a foam rather than, um, it's like a pump rather than an aerosol. Um, lightweight air infused foam, lifts from the roots and adds texture, adds grip to make styling hair easier and easy to work in and wash out. This says for mid length to long cuts, but I use it on my hair and it's, it's, it's fine on short hair as well. Um, and it does say... Work three to five pumps through the towel through towel dried hair using your fingers. Style with a hair dryer for extra volume. It does what it says on the tin. It holds it in place, um, gives it texture. You can have it. Just use this, but with this, I also use this from Bo Five Two. So I do. I put this on, comb it through, and scrunch all my hair up. Then I blow dry it and then it all kind of goes woof like this. <laughs> like woof. I've done that again. Woof. Like so. So then I need to tame it a little bit. So then I use this. The 5 Rework Putty. Now this is like, um, it's for extreme styles is this. And it's like a sticky, fibrous stuff. <laughs> don't know what it is but it's called it's stuff and you put it on and you rub your finger your hands together and it gets even more fibrous <laughs> mm, bringing back some memories is this so <laughs> uh, it's a bit like icing you pull it yeah and then the can you see all the fibers so then what I do then is put a blob in my hands, rub it, rub it, rub it, make it all fibrous, rub it through my hair and then push it to where I need it to be. And that's it basically. It stays with that up where you put it. And then I also use a, usually use the VO5 spray gel as well, but I couldn't get any this time. So I'd been using this um, Shockwaves Ultra Strong Power Hold gel spray strength number i keep forgetting the things that they said strength number five um this works with these so and it works on it own on its own as well and with its own gel and that kind of thing because i like to try and stick to a range and as i say i didn't have the spray gel with this but that does work i'm still using this one that's why there's some still in there so yeah and that i just give that a light spritz and then i know it's going to not start flopping about which i don't think it would anyway with these so um yes definitely rebuy this one this one and this one spot on brilliant for my hair so and as i say mine's really thick and um, heavy so if they can hold it up it'll hold most hair okay now the next thing i got is to review is this cool gel pad for your pillow well i bought it for my pillow i went in the range um because i needed a draining but draining dish drainer well that's the word <laughs> dish drainer and i saw these and it's in this week we've had this heat wave it was I think it was Monday, yeah, Monday I called in. And I saw these and they were priced at six ninety nine. They're not the the ones by JML. These are by Sleep Cool. Sleep Cool. Um so they were priced up at six ninety nine in the range and I thought shall I get them? Shall I get anywhere? I ended up I got two, one for me, one for Hobby. And um, when I got to the checkout, they were actually, my bill came to less than I thought. And I, and I said to the girl, how much are they? She said, the woman who checked me out said these were the best things she'd bought. 
the brilliant she's the work fantastically she's and they're exactly the same as the other brand so not the sleep cool brand but this is exactly the same apparently as the other brand so and these are cheaper so anyhow um i got two um and they ended up they were three pound I can't remember if it was three forty nine or three ninety nine each. So that was brilliant. Anyway, put them inside your pillow. Let me grab and put. I'm sat on the bed, so let me grab oh, a pillow. It's in the pillow case here, on top of the pillow. I'll show you. Like that. That's it. It's like a gel that's inside. So you just slide it in the pillow case. On top of your pillow. Oh, let me shove that back in there. I'll sort it out in a minute. Right. Um, and the work treat. So the first on Tuesday night when I got to the van and I put changed the bed and put these in the thing, it was red hot. And that night, oh, it was lovely. I laid down, put my head on the thing. Oh, on my back and my neck, it was so cool. It was lovely and helped me to sleep and I slept really well. So that is good. It does say um use as um pillow yoga cushion can you see this wait a second pillow yoga cushion pet cushion car seat cooler and laptop cushion now we have got these for the dogs the bigger ones than this for the dogs um and i've not seen them for people um so that was one of the reasons that i bought them to try them because i know the dogs ones do stay cool um, so it says also on here that you can use these for animals as I've just said but it also says the cool gel pad helps to relieve the symptoms of overheating it includes temperatures caused by flu and fever but also hot flushes as a result of menopause helps relieve the symptoms of people with restless leg syndrome acne, eczema, migraine, sunburn as well as for those who are simply just too warm naturally and then it, there's a... Um, a description here of how it works and and what have you and it says the, um, the science is a synergy between specialized materials fluids and laws of thermodynamics that creates a dry powerless thermoregulating memory foam effect um, the cool gel pad helps cool the head and body and heat is absorbed from the head, which is then released. So it absorbs the heat from your head or your body, wherever you put it. I've got them in the pillowcases, but if you're doing it for your legs, say, or if you've sunburn on your shoulder and you're putting it there, then it just um, it takes the heat from wherever and distributes it, gets rid of it. So that's good. They do work. They are really good. Um and I would definitely, definitely buy them again. So, goodbye. Not goodbye. A goodbye. <laughs> Not goodbye. A goodbye. So that's the last one on the list. That's a definite fave. It's particularly this week with the heat we've had. So, I hope you've all been managing all right with it. And you're not getting too burnt. We've been staying out of it as much as we could. I won't take the dogs out in it. It's far too hot. Um, I've been taking them out early morning. And then up to about, I usually take them out about half five, quarter to six when I wake up. Um, and then take them for a quick walk around the site, because we're at the caravan at the minute. Um, and then get to about 10 o'clock. I come back and have a drink. They then have a little bit of a snooze again. <laughs> They've got a really good life, haven't they? They wake up, go for a walk, come back. They have a chew stick thing. And then they go to sleep. And then at about... 10 o'clock take them out again and that's it in this heat till probably about five o'clock and then they go for a, a walk um if they need to go out i take them out for a quick wee around the back of the van because there's some grass down there but for a proper walk i take them around the around the caravan site when it's cooled down because it's not fair to them they, they can burn the feet and it's cruel so um, and they get too hot and they start sweating and they can't cool down because they don't sweat properly and all that kind of thing. So you're better off if you've got animals, leave them inside. Don't take them in the car and leave them in the supermarket car park as we've seen many times. Um, yeah, so 
leave them in the side and be kind. You might think you're doing them a favour taking them with you, but you're not. So think about it a little bit. Anyhow, please give this video a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll now be back a little bit more because we're mo I'm more and more at the van now. And hopefully it won't be long now before we moved over all together. Um, as soon as I get in and get all the stuff organised, I was going to do it in bits, but it's taking a longer and it's it's we're having to buy stuff to put things in and put them wherever they need to be. Uh, so it'd be a bit, I'm thinking it'll be a bit boring to keep doing a video on this storage here and this bit of storage and that bit of storage. So I'm just going to do it all when when we moved in so what happens at the minute is we pack a load of stuff up and then um at home i load my car up do what i need to do at home um because we go home on a sunday and then i come back to the van one of the days in the week towards the weekend bring a load of stuff unload it into the shed and then because we've got a shed here put it away the following week where it's going to live temporarily and then hubby does the same brings his a load of stuff in his car drops it off put it in the shed unload it un unpack it the following week in its temporary home and then once we're here and we've moved properly and everything's done and sorted and i'm here every day then i shall put everything in its final place um because i'll go through it all again i'm getting rid of a lot of things for charity um <clears throat> to the charity shops because i know they're crying out for donations now so a lot of stuff's going there and um yeah so it's all exciting time but very tiring and very time consuming as well which is why i haven't been on here but the pressure's easing a little bit so hopefully i'll be able to get back on here a little bit more and do a little bit of sewing as well with you so please subscribe if you haven't and give me a thumbs up if you've got any questions pop them in the comment box below and if there's any videos that you'd like me to do or any reviews you'd like me to do or anything like that then please 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 pop it in the comments box i do read them and i do try to respond to them all so thank you for your time i'll see you very soon bye bye guys